Hey, can I help you? Yeah, can I help you in my yard? I was dropping off the groceries at the... I'm Girls sorry. What groceries? I had a spark delivery. What's happening, team? Hope everybody's doing well. It is Monday afternoon. I have just finished a full day of work. I am soaked in sweat. So now I'm headed back to the house, change some clothes. We're gonna get dressed and do a little gig work this evening. We're going on a vacation next week. So my goal Monday through Friday is to make an extra, say 150 bucks to have as little extra cash while we're on the road. So let's get home and I'll see you in a second. Okay, clothes changed. I've got my keys. I've got a charger in the car, a little bit of gas. The goal of the day and every day this week really is just 27.50. I like hitting that goal. Hopefully we do a little bit more. My goal for this evening is to try to do two orders from Walmart, and then I've got DoorDash open too, just in case. So let's see how it goes. All right, I'm excited. It's a super sunny afternoon. I got out just in time a little after four o'clock, and I'm pulling into Walmart right now. The best days to do this are sunny days. It's just, I know it's southern heat, but I love it, man. The graph says that today the busiest times are like somewhere between four and six. So hopefully we'll be able to grab something pretty big. I'm hoping for one to two orders, but you never really know on Mondays. Mondays are tough days. All right, so we're parked over here and waiting for an order. I wanted to tell you guys about this vacation we're taking. My family is really big on camping. So I've got something I get to cross off the bucket this bucket list this year. We're headed to New River Gorge National Park. I don't know if you guys have been there, but we're gonna hike it up all the way to West Virginia and put a tent down for a couple of days. Really excited about that. So if you've been there, let me know. I hear it's a beautiful place. Here's an interesting one. So I just accepted a curbside pickup for 1076 going less than a mile. So I checked on it just to see what somebody had ordered. Looks like they ordered like some water to go less than a mile and I'm getting paid $11 to do it. Yeah, I'll do that one. And the waiting game begins. But if we can finish this within the hour, we'll get our next one. That'll make it for a decent day, you think? See, I like those back-to-back -back orders. That's what you really want with Walmart Spark. A little bit of a wait on that one, but we have less than a mile. So let's get this one delivered and we'll come back for another one. Looks like the delivery instructions are no contact order and this is a house. So I should be able to get those out real quick and then we'll be done. All right, got that one dropped off. Leaving the house now. Let's work our way back and see if we can catch another order for this next hour. Okay, so we accepted a curbside pickup going nine miles at I think a little under $25, which is pretty good. It's gonna be two orders from the curbside and I'm gonna go grab that in a few minutes. Well done. All right, pulled in for our second order. Now we just play the waiting game. A Little bit of a wait for that one, but that's no problem. We are on the road and getting ready to deliver these two. By that time, it'll probably be a little after six. I'm probably gonna call it a night, but let's get these two delivered and then uh, we'll see what kind of earnings we got for the night. Nice. I don't know if you can see that chicken in the driveway. Hey, can I help you? Yeah, can I help you in my yard? I was dropping off the groceries. At the... I'm Girls sorry. What groceries? I had a spark delivery, so I dropped off bread and all kinds of groceries at the front door. She said she didn't do I apologize. I didn't mean to trespass on your property. No, there ain't no driving. problem there, but where the groceries? They're right there on the on front. On the table? Yes, sir. I put them in the chair next to the. Oh, okay. So I apologize. I didn't mean to scare you that way. I didn't know. I'm pulling going. up on somebody's house. I'm hey, sorry about that. Ain't no problem, man. I'll get done. All right, Coach Clark. I didn't order nothing. I got you. I, maybe you should. Do. All right, thank All right. you, man. Yes, sir. Have a good one. Hey, sir. Have a good one. So this guy's got a straight up chicken in his yard. This is awesome. Woo, man, I just had an encounter with like the owner of the house. It's this old black guy, super nice guy. He just, he came up on me real quick and I was like, whoa, can I help you? He was like, can I help you, son? You own my property. I was like, man, I'm just delivering groceries. He scared the mess out of me. <laughs> he was like, who's this pulling up on my property? Woo. About half a second there, I was like, this old man is gonna shoot me. <laughs> Today's like backcountry trailer park day. Man, they're sending me some sketchy spots. I right, got that second delivery made. Let's see if we can turn around somewhere in this driveway here. And we're gonna go home. I have had enough today. <laughs> All right, and we're done for the day. I am driving home. Let me tell you, this isn't called Mississippi Dashing for nothing. <laughs> Spark and other gig work has introduced kind of a, an interesting way of just pulling up on people every day. So if you're from the deep south like I am, a yes sir and thank you goes a long way. <laughs> just be polite. 
everything will turn out all right. Okay team, well I guess we could call this a successful night. We drove for a total of 19 miles. We earned a little over $37, and that equated to about 180 something um, per mile, which is pretty good. Still trying to go for that $2 a mile, but hey, I'm happy with it. We beat our 2750 goal. We only took two orders from Walmart, which is kind of the average, you know? I think that with Spark, you can pretty much bet that you'll beat that 2750 with two orders most nights. Maybe not every night, but pretty much most nights. So yeah, we're gonna get comfy, take a shower, and call it a night. I'll see you in the next one.